welcome to this uh, second video lecture of uh, the series that I have started uh, for the beginners to learn SAP 2000. If you remember in the previous video, we discussed uh, briefly about these menus, right? And uh, today we will start with uh, uh, how to uh, define the grid in the SAP 2000. Uh, when you click the new model, uh, uh, this window will appear. Uh, we discussed about these things in the previous video. Today we will talk about the select template and the first one is blank and second one is grid only. These two are uh, more or less same and uh, uh, in the later, later on I will uh, explain it how uh, you can uh, work in them. Let's start with the grid only which is a bit more simple than this blank. Okay so click on the grid only and make sure that you know what units uh, you are working in with uh, for example kips fit or kips inch or pounds right when you click it uh, this window will open which names uh, quick grid lines right and uh, it uh, gives you two options for example the cartesian coordinate or the cylindrical coordinate in the cylindrical coordinate you have to uh, define the number of grid lines grid spacing and first grid location along the radius along the theta which is the radial lines or the angle or between two lines and along the z axis which which is length of the cylinder right however in cartesian coordinate you always deal with the x y and z directions and you have to specify number of grid lines grid spacing and first grid line location so uh, let's first uh, work in the Cartesian coordinate uh, in the x direction. Let's suppose, let's say I want to six grid lines. So there will be five spacings, right? In the y direction, uh, four is I think okay. In the z direction, there will be three grid lines. Now the grid spacing, I want uh, the spacing in x direction to be 18 feet, in the y direction to be 15 feet and in z direction to be 11 feet right and uh, uh, the first grid line uh, it's okay if it starts at 000 so as soon as i will click this okay button uh, you will see that this uh, structure that i just defined appears here right uh, this is a 3d view if you uh, click on the 3d view you can see 3d view and if you click here so these are different 2d views for example this is the xy plane you can select the xz plane and you can select the yz plane so coming to the xy plane you can see that there are five spacings in x direction this is the x direction one two three four five there are five spacings and six grid lines right a b c d e f in x direction and four grid lines in the y direction with three spacings right uh, right now uh, the spacing is uniform as you can see that but uh, nothing to worry about you can always uh, change the spacings for example right click and select this edit grid data right and uh, why by uh, highlighting this global just uh, click this modify show system here you can play with uh, the spacing for example uh, right now if you click here in the spacing section you can see that the spacing in the x direction is uniform all the uh, all the uh, grids are at the same distance but you can play with it for example i will say that the first uh, uh, spacing it is not 18 inch uh, 18 feet but it is rather uh, let's say 16 feet the second one is uh, not 18 but it's 20 feet so uh, the third one is not 18 it's 17 the fourth one is uh, let's say 19 and the fifth one is uh what i would say uh, 15.5 right so i have changed the spacings in uh, one direction you can change it in the other as well for example in the y direction uh, let's suppose one is 12 the other one 15 or make it 17 and the third one as uh, 16 okay similarly in the z direction uh, i will make it as a 10 feet so uh, when you click OK, so you will see the grids will be rearranged. See, now you can see clearly that the this spacing is uh, uh, much uh, lesser than this one. 
size uh, is almost half to this one okay so this is because you have changed the spacing as per your requirements and you can play with it uh, in a way you want okay in, in either direction for example in the uh, exact direction you can see uh, the height of first floor is greater than the height of second floor similarly in the yz direction you can see the the size of different uh, rooms uh, if you call it a room or uh, uh, any opening whatever you want to see it okay uh, but uh, please keep in mind that as of now these are just the grid lines uh, and uh, you cannot select them you cannot delete them from this interface okay if you want to play with them uh, what you have to do is enter into this grid and modify it from here you can delete a line or you can add a line for example let me show you if i want to add a line okay and uh, just call it g and uh, you can uh, place it anywhere for example uh, i want to uh, place it uh, in between uh, for example between uh, these two lines for example line uh, b and c so i will give it uh, uh, ordinates of uh, let's suppose uh, 25 right and you see that this line appears right here okay so you can insert line at uh, any point anywhere in this uh, uh, your grid system okay when you click it see this line appears here so similarly you can do it in uh, any direction but these are just the grid lines and you you need to uh, to define your uh, wh what you we'll call materials and the sections and you have to model it okay so uh, for example uh, i want to uh, model for example uh, this uh, section has already been uh, defined by the sap so if i just click on any grid line see it will be modeled now the beams have been defined that these are the four beams right uh, okay uh, so uh, we have defined the beams right now uh, exit from this mode and uh, just select a uh, quick draw slab uh, we will talk about these things later on don't worry about that i'm just trying to show you that how it looks like uh, right uh, as of now we have defined four beams and one slab i am going to fill objects to show you that how it looks like see this is how we have just defined four beams and uh, one slab see this one slab and four beams have been modeled and uh, the rest are just the grid lines uh, means that you have to go and you have to draw some elements uh, either beams or columns okay uh, we haven't uh, defined any column so let me go to the other views uh, for example we are in this uh, view right here it is highlighted and uh, let me draw some columns as well uh, to show you okay so when i click over here see the columns have been uh, of, uh, made over here right so i have made this one one frame right okay uh, if i want to make it a complete frame let's do the same practice here as well so now you can see that uh, we have defined uh, modeled uh, this uh, entire frame and uh, highlight this and make it a 3d rotation just see how you have uh, make it right so that's the way uh, you can define the grid lines and uh, on that those grid lines you can make this uh, the elements the beams the columns the slabs that you want uh, to be there and you can edit this grid as well at any time it's up to you uh, now uh, i would like to show you the same thing for example uh, the blank one right so if you select this blank option uh, you will get nothing and when you go to the edit grid and uh, either you have to add new system because there is nothing or you just want to modify this because it is empty as well 
so here you have to define everything and you have to start uh, from the scratch you have to define the line type uh, the visibility the bubble the name its uh, ordinate or if you are working in the spacing so it's spacing so here you have to do everything from the scratch however in the uh, previous option uh, it was not from the scratch and uh, you just uh, uh, predefined some uh, equal intervals uh, along each axis either it is x either it is y either it is z and then you made the changes accordingly right so we are done with this uh, blank option and a grid only option uh, we are uh, also have the uh, a video on this beam option uh, I would suggest you to go and watch the video on uh, how to model a simple beam in SAP 2000. Uh, in the next video, we will discuss about this 2D trusses and uh, in the subsequent videos, we will discuss about all these templates. Okay, so see you uh, in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.